Hey, what's up, guys? Your boy Iron Smasher1024 here. Um, and welcome to my very first LP on the Gaming Odyssey channel. And um, today, is my first LP is, of course, uh, Spyro Reignited Trilogy. Um, and I also have one of the TGO members with me today, so if you want to introduce yourself. Hey, guys, uh, Tamman here. I thought I would. Uh... Be with the newest member of the TGL Iron on the first part of his new LP. We're excited to have him as part of the TGL family, so. And uh, we're on the Nintendo Switch version, so if you don't see any PlayStation buttons, that's why. But, um, let's get into it. And, of course, we're going to be, this series is going to be a bit long. We're going to start with, obviously, the first Spyro game. We will, we will eventually go up to Ripto's Rage, and then at the very end, we will go to Year of the Dragon. So, uh, this is going to be a bit of a long series, but um, we're going to make it into it. Yeah, I mean, most of the LPs on the TGO are pretty lengthy, which is fine. I want to say we have a good variety. here in the five worlds or is it six <laughs> for a dragon's age we now have 12,000 treasure or is it 14,000 what about this Ganassi Ganok character now I understand he's done a magic spell to turn gems into warriors for his cause I'll take that question Nasty Nork is a simple creature simple? we have been contained in a remote world All right, we're about to free our first dragon. Nice. Thank you for releasing me, Spyro. Free ten dragons in the artisan world, then find the balloonist. He'll transport you to the next world. What about Nasty Nork? I'm going after him. Find dragons first. That's all I can tell you. So, Iron, um, did you ever play the OG Spyro games? I played a little bit of it. I never have. I do actually have this game, um, the remaster. I like it. I think Spyro is really fun. Keep your horns on, Spyro. I can hear you. Though. You have much to learn first. Do you know what the dragonfly following you is doing? Uh... His name is Sparks, and he's helping and protecting you. Keep an eye on him, and see what I mean. There we go. Now, of course, in the levels, you pretty much gotta collect dragons, and of course, that goes for pretty much this place, places like this, where it shows the gates and everything, like, for example, Stonehill and other places, and of course, we're eventually, you're gonna eventually see us, like, pretty much, um, uh, chase those, uh, dragon egg snatchers. Basically, they snatch eggs, and so we gotta chase them. So they could be pretty fast, but I mean, they, they could be pretty easy to catch once you get the time. I like the fire in this game. It's probably my favorite move. I like the way that Spyro can troll in general. Just really fun. Let's 
Let's see what's over here. Yep. One, I know this place right here. Hey, Spyro. Press the jump button twice to glide. And, and don't be afraid. Afraid? Of what? Falling from high mountain peaks? Plummeting into prehistoric glaciers? Oh, that. Wow. I like how you have the TGO logo in the bottom corner, it's a nice touch. Well, I mean, I didn't, I mean, I don't think John would like it if I were to have the Iron Smasher logo, because obviously, even though it's, like, this is my, with my LP, I don't think he'll approve of that. Do you like the Spyro or Crash games more? To be honest, like, I do like Crash. I'm, I, I, like, I think I was very close to 100% in the game on the, on the PlayStation 1, but, um... I like Spyro a bit. I mean, I like Crash a bit more. And but I, something tells me if I were to get into Spyro more, I think would have I would have probably said Spyro like instead of Crash. Spyro, I think controls a lot better. Like I think he's more fun to control. I think Crash can, like can be a bit stiff at times. So I think Spyro. And I like both games. I think Crash has better level design, but I think Spyro controls better. Yeah, I can see that. And I also want to answer your question about how they could integrate him into Smash Bros. So, basically, we have like I remember that we have uh, Pikachu and Pichu that also run on legs and feet. And I also like mm -hmm. it's a technically they could probably do something similar to how they do with Pikachu and um, Pichu. Like for example, what I'm doing right now that could be like pretty much their. Um, Air attack, well, not their air attack, their, um, what should we call it? Their collision course attack, pretty much. Like, there's oh, like, okay. this character has, this character has like a couple of things. I'm pretty sure this could be like, it's his, uh, when you press B on him, it's neutral. But like, this character could be integrated into Smash, it's just, you know, it's gonna be a little bit weird, I feel. I think, well, I think first of all, Spyro fits. Um, I can see that. I think Spyro fits Smash. By the way, this will, we'll be going. Too. By the way, we'll be going here to this dude because this guy is our key to getting off this world into other ones and saving more dragons. But we'll get into that after we brought two dragons on this world. Uh, what are you gonna say? I was saying I think Spyro fits Smash like he has at Nintendo personality and the vibe to him and stuff. To be honest, I kind of would like to see more PlayStation characters. Oh, we rescued all- we got, we um, got all the gems on this world. Perfect. Did you ever play that one PlayStation Battle Royale All-Stars game? Nah. My brother hogged the PlayStation 3, so, no. But I've, I've seen gameplay. But it's not. Yeah, well, it looks. One of the other it levels. looks okay to say the least. The only downside is that you can no longer play online. Well, I mean that kind of makes sense. The games went out for quite a while. It's, I mean, I can't, eventually it's gonna be run on emulators more. Like, because I obviously not everybody wants to get a PlayStation 3 because I mean you have to get another capture device since PlayStation put some crap on that ver on that thing. Um oh yeah we rescue all the gems. Now we can go into we, we're gonna go into uh obviously into our first one which is Stone Hill. And that's not copyright to Sega, even though it feels like it. But um <laughs> we're we're gonna get into our first one which is Stone Hill. This one's a pretty interesting uh, course and you'll and if we can we'll see our first uh, thief of Eggery. Oh, oh no, no! It'll be, I it'll be hate easy. The egg thieves, the egg thieves are the worst. To me, it's a bit easier. It's just it depends on what kind of course you're at. There's Especially one if it's really water. annoying one. I forgot. It's like the ice one. That's annoying. I think that's like later in the game. I could be wrong. Yeah, I played. I I played. I think for like most. I feel like I'm 50% way through Spyro 1. Mm -hmm. I'm, I've played, I think, a bit of the second one or third one. I forgot which one. I mean, they're fun games. I'm glad that they brought them back for sure. It's pretty neat. 
to see them back. Yeah. I c that's definitely true. By the way, hint hint, um, some of these are secret of course, but I mean, uh, Spyro can't swim in this version of the game, so we're gonna have to wait a little bit while to see him swim. He and ground pound. Yeah, because this is the first game where he doesn't um, swim or ground pound. Oh, sure. We're gonna have to find a key for this boy. We'll open it eventually. Uh, I like the voice actor they got for Spyro. Which one? There's like. Oh. There's like an army of them now. Oh, uh, Spyro always reminded me a lot of Sonic, the way he talks. Kind of that jokey personality. This is the end, but we're not going to the end just yet. After you've freed all the dragons, pass through this fancy vortex uh, thing. Thingamajig. <laughs> It'll take you back to the artisan home. But first, let me tell you a story. No! No, See ya. no story! Oh yeah, I heard rumors, apparently, I think it's confirmed, we're gonna get a new Sonic game. Yeah, I don't know. I, Sonic's dead in my eyes, but... Yeah. I don't, Sonic, I think, has some cool potential. I just don't think they know how to use Sonic, if I'm being honest. To be honest, I kind of miss the original games, to be honest, because that had character. The new ones are just, I don't know, ass cheeks. <laughs> There, that's the way to put it. Cause like the old ones had a soul, which is pretty much the source of not just the the consoles, but in general the character Sonic in his game in general. Yeah, like the classic 2D platformer Sonics are pretty good. Yeah. But the more recent ones are like oh. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. I just I'm not a huge fan of. Sonic Boom sucks. I've heard Sonic Generations good. I've not played that. Sonic Boom should just stay as a TV show. <laughs> it's only better as that, to be honest. Lies of Lyric was I heard... weird. <laughs> I I heard that the Sonic Boom TV show is actually like, not terrible. It's not bad. It's just that you know, it's like it's pretty much like a cry to how they're trying to keep the series alive in my perspective. Because the, as a video game, they had they released two versions of the game for 3DS and Wii U. But like, it's just, it feels like Nintendo always has this thing where they take pretty much kind of kind of keep a reminder of how different 3DS and the Wii U is, even though they're kind of similar because of how they both have two screens and that shit. But it feels like they're trying to always make like two versions of the game for each console instead of keeping it the same. Yeah, I agree. That's kind of... Yeah. Spyro, my friend. How about a hint on gliding? You bet. You the bet. Good. Uh -huh. Press the jump button at the top of your jump. And try pressing the action button to drop down mid-flight. Okay, boomer. <laughs> I feel like... The issue with Sonic is they try to do too much for the, like the stories and characters. Mm -hmm. It's just like have a simple story. We don't care about all this weird stuff. Just have a story, not have all this dumb stuff. That's my biggest issue with it. Yeah, I can see that. Got to collect them hidden gems in the uh, Draginos. Oh, we already, collect we already collected all, all four, wow, in this world. That was fast. Oh, we did? Yeah, like, we somehow speeded into it. <laughs> it's kind of funny. That's nice. You can see fine, right? Yeah. Time to kind of fuck this bitch up right here. <sighs> Come here, bitch. Was that an egg thief? Yes. It is. I hate those. Come here, bitch. <laughs> 
burnt calories. <laughs> nice. Oh yeah, the funny part is that they have an invisible barrier right here. It's kind of funny. That is funny. You are not allowed to mod the game. This is beyond your point. This is not new symbol my bros, we just know mod. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh yeah, hitting the you cannot be hidden from me, gems. Why don't they make a new Spyro game? To be honest, like I, they're trying to make this one like pretty much because it's like iconic in a way, I guess, I feel. Cause this is like I guess to make the fans happy. But maybe for a new Spyro game, maybe that's later on. Okay, we need to find like, the key. I know it's somewhere around here. Oh, yeah, we just gotta go to other places over here. Other way. Oh, yeah, we gotta go over here. Wait, no, that's this other way. Let's see here, there, there, there. Where did I not go? Hmm. Spyro, one thing, the difference between Crash and Spyro, Crash is a lot more straightforward, while Spyro isn't, which... Yeah. Spyro reminds me, Spyro reminds me a lot of Banjo-Kazooie. The way, like, the character, both games have a similar feel. I think Banjo's a bit better, but... Both games are very similar. What I like about Crash though is that he's pretty much he's like he's pretty much still, he's a PlayStation character. Like these two are PlayStation yeah. characters, and yeah. I feel like I feel like that's a big thing. Some people don't care, but like it's it depends on the audience, of course. But like these icons need to get better representation and all that, and of course PlayStation tries to copy Nintendo a lot, so they because they try to make their own version they of Smash. Do. They even made their own version of Wii accessories back in the day. Oh yeah, the vibe. The vibe. <laughs> AK lightsabers are dead. Even I'm they even copied the Wii zapper, which is kind of funny. How the how the hell do you do that? The Three, Wii zapper what? They copied the Wii zapper. What is that? It's basically well, there's two kinds of it. There's one that's used for Call of Duty. Which is basically like a like a rifle almost. Oh, yeah, I think I have one. And yeah, then there's the I mini one. I'm... Yeah, and there's a small one that has actually looks like a Glock. <laughs> What's so funny? It literally it looks like a Glock. I had one. Well, my brother had one. He played 007. That Nintendo game has an actually looks like a Glock. Hmm. I kind of liked it. I kind of wish it was a real one though. Just play some Call of Duty. And now we have the key. There we go. We're gonna unlock them keys. Games? Like my my favorite game game? Yeah. Out of Spyro. Out of the trilogy. It's hard to tell specifically, but like... Because of course I have to, I have to finish the entire game, but like... Oh, we found all the gems. We have, we have completed the level. Um... Year of the Dragon was pretty good. It had a lot of adventure, a lot of cool things, new characters. This one is okay. If you're one of those people that like, wants to get into the game to see how the feel of it is. Um, Ripto's Rage gives... Well, I already said Ripto's Rage. Um, Year of the Dragon gives it a very nice purpose with more adventure-like and a bit more challenges. It's but it's pretty... They're all... It's, it depends on what kind of gamer you are for Spyro. Because each Spyro game has a unique like, has a unique uh, feel and vibe. Yeah, I don't know. In terms of Crash, I like Warped in Time the best. The original's pretty good. I, I haven't. I don't remember the second one at all. What is the second one like? Spyro Two. I'm trying to think of Spyro Two. I, I don't know. Hmm. Crash too. I like Crash Warp in Time probably the best out of that trilogy. Huh. Stone Hill complete boys. 
Which I wonder where to do next. You know what? I know where we should go. We're gonna go to the chaotic one. Just get tortured to show the audience how hard it is. Oh this yeah. This game can be tricky. Mm-hmm. Okay. Remember, Spyro cannot be on water, so we gotta be careful. What? Oh, does he die if you touch it? This. And your dragonfly eventually goes away and then you die. Oh. Sunny okay. flight. Let's go. Dang, I hear some Discord noises. Yeah, I hear it too. What is that? Uh, let's see. I have like a lot of. I have like a lot of servers, but it's hard to tell. Oh my gosh. It might be Smash Survivor for John on John's server. I don't do the Smash Survivor, because that's for boomers. Bruh. So this one's a bit chaotic, but you have to be fast. Um, for me, I actually, I always get confused. Wait, I've never played this before. Is this like a secret area? Oh shit, we gotta catch that train. Two more. Where are the other two? This one's over here. And then this one... Okay, we're gonna go. We're gonna use these two very quickly. Oh, the oh, this is cool. You're playing on these airplanes, left and right. Yep, this is pi this is definitely 100% pilot wings right here. That, well, that was that was a very that was kind of a fun game. Yep. Now, of course, this one's one of those kinds that have to be careful which order you choose because it's really hard to tell where to go. This is the start of this gate one, so we're gonna be careful. I'm gonna try to get this in one str one try, because this one is, you know. These are the levels I have trouble with. Oop! I we might have to be, I gotta be careful, boys. Oh shit! I almost died. Hurry, hurry, hurry! Come on, gamers! We're almost there. I believe you can do it. We need to get out of here. Come on, where's- there we go. Hurry, I'm Spyro. You're good at these, I'm glad you're good at these missions, I'm not. I mean, this one kind of took me a bit of a couple tries. Shit, shit, shit. We gotta be- gotta hurry, boy. Spyro, put your pedal to the metal. Oh, shit. We're gonna lose. <laughs> Crap. Yeah, you almost I, got I it. Don't like these levels. Okay, so I think I'm gonna do the chest. Wait, where am I? I'm gonna do the chest first, then I'm gonna do the train, then I'll do the gate. Cause sometimes you can also do it in a specific order to make it a bit easy for the time. But keep in mind you also have to make sure you calculate your time uh, perfectly. Me, I always suck at it, but that's why I sometimes have to, you know. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, I, I'm terrible at this. These flying, like, I like the idea of flying, but it's just hard, it's difficult. You have to if, be, like, precise. Yeah. I feel like this one's, like, a, a small pitch of Star Fox, but, like, this one's more, yeah. like, more out. I hope they make a good Star Fox game soon. Yeah. Fuck, I mean, the, fuck the people who said Zero was worse, that's for sure. Because <laughs> I like Zero. I oh, you do? I don't, I've heard it's okay. Some people say it's bad, but like, it's pretty okay. I think people say it's bad because they were expecting something great. Spyro, they even had like their own uh, movie. It's kind of interesting. Come on, capture. Capture the shits. Burn them. Come on, we're almost there. We're not gonna, we're not gonna take the elves today, come on. I better not die because of this shit. Yeah, we might die. Come on, come on. Give me extra time. Oh yeah, it's not gonna give me extra time. Okay, we're gonna do... Okay, so do planes, barrels... Okay, we can try it. Oh, 
we'll obey the game for once. We just gotta find the fucking planes. There they are. Uh, take care of this guy. We gotta hurry up because we also have to, we have to not waste our time. Yeah. You know, if they think if this tech, you could always come back to it, or like... True. Uh, the windows of editing off-screen as well, you can do that. Yeah, that's true. Crap. You know what, I'll go back to these guys. I'm gonna go here. Oh yeah, I gotta... I'll use the trains to save me a little bit. This is gonna be a bit hard, but I can try it. Crap! Of course, what's gonna happen? You gotta hurry up a little bit. This one's gonna be a bit taking because whatever dev made this game obviously did not like want me to make the gates so fast. Yeah. Crap! Come on, hurry up, hurry up. Well, that was fucking ass. We'll go do it one more time and then we'll go back to it. Okay, that sounds good. God damn it. Okay. Oh, three planes, okay. Hurry up and burn. Okay, that little bitch. We'll go back to... Okay, we're gonna be... This little bitch right here fucked me up a little bit. get how these levels are so hard. I mean, this is the target audience is kids, and... I didn't need that, Sam. Huh? What did you say? Don't right, worry about it. No, I'm just saying it's ridiculous how difficult this game, this part of the game is. Like, I'm just saying how it makes no sense. Oh yeah, those shits. You gotta have to hurry up right here.
Okay, now we got to go find a train. Hopefully, it's not too far. Okay, that was wow. There we go. Okay. Congrats. I, I I don't think I've ever beat one of those. It can be hard, at times. Yeah. The game goes from like pretty easy to like really hard. It's like what the heck. What's the first Spyro game called? Is it just called Spyro? It's called Spyro the Dragon. Oh, but that's not like a subtitle. I know one's called like Ripto's Rage. Ripto's Rage. Which one? Ripto's Rage is the second one. What's the third one? Uh, Year of the Dragon. And then Enter the Dragon part was that the remake thing they did, which I didn't play. I heard there was one on the Wii, which is kind of weird. Yeah. I remember I first got introduced to Spyro via Skylanders. Ew. Yeah, you was right. His design is weird in that game. Especially how they integrated Dark Spyro. Yeah, I do not like his design. Is like, what the heck? What Where's the fuck thing? is that? At least when they put Donkey Kong and Bowser into Skylanders, it's somewhat okay. But he's the expander. We're talking about Spy the Row. Yeah, his like he looks. He looks more like a lizard than a dragon. Oh yeah, we gotta. Since these guys have shields, we're gonna have to fuck them up like this. Give them the old-fashioned uh, antlers thingamajig. Oh yeah, we gotta find another like key. We can also burn calories with uh, toads or frogs, so that's pretty good. Okay, we're gonna go this way. Look at this way. Now, for these guys, we're gonna have to burn them. Because they can hit us very, very badly. I was gonna roast these guys. You gotta roast the marshmallows real good. Pause. Oh, it's you. Yeah, it's me. Really... <laughs> what was that? I don't that's sexual, but okay. Oh, okay. Unpause. I'm like, I, I've never heard someone use the word marshmallows with like sex before or anything related to that. <laughs> so unless that's some like keyword, do you want to toast? Toast and uh. Gotta toast. toast. Toast them. French toast. I mean, I was gonna say something, but never mind. It's a free country, Tim, man. You can say whatever you want. No, not on the GPL say it. channel. Oh. It's the censor button. <laughs> yeah. I was gonna say, I mean, marshmallows are white and creamy, but... I don't know if that exactly means they're related to sex anymore, I mean... Interesting. No. Oh yeah, we gotta go somewhere over here. Oh wait, no, that, that's later. My bad. Somewhere over the rain. That's what I'm pointing at Tiju, but Tiju's actually a good singer there, though. He is the good boy of singing. I cannot sing. I sound terrible. I'd rather not sing, especially since I have a dark voice. Calories, that's good. <laughs> oh, I missed one. Burn. There we go. Ooh. Spicy. Okay. What's back here? Uh, why, it's a dragon. Big enemy like this 
north with a club cannot be charged, but a quick play that should defeat them. <sighs> Let's see here. So tan man appeal. <laughs> oh. When are you possibly going to join us in the ultimate uh, roster of Super Smash Bros. Ossity? What? In other words, when are you going to get these uh, cheeks cleaped by and Smash Bros? Are you asking when I'm going to buy a Switch? C. I, I don't know. I cannot give a clear answer of that. Uh... I'll do my research and I'll probably maybe ask for it for my birthday. Okay. So I feel like enough people have it and, you know, I don't know when the PS5 is coming out. I don't know, I see. And I still play my PS4, but... To be honest, if it costs like 500 then I'm obviously not getting it because that's a hell no for me. I might get the Switch Lite. If it's like 300 that's not terrible. No, 300 no, the... The Switch Lite is cheaper uh, for you. Like it's cheaper. Yeah, if it, I don't know how. Let me look it up. It's like it's like uh, one ninety nine. What? That's it. Yeah, it's very cheap. But of course, if you're if you're willing if you're willing to sacrifice not docking it and all that shit, go for it. Remember not docking it. It's non TV dockable. What does that mean? You cannot dock it on an a Nintendo Switch dock because it doesn't have a chip that, that uses it to dock on the TV. So, like, what does? Like, can I? Still it's only play on my it's only dedicated to handheld. Oh. Yes. Oh, so I can't play on my TV. You, yeah, you only have to play, and it's a smaller screen. It's a slightly smaller screen, and it's the buttons are a bit smaller, but it's it's okay for my. Oh. It's a bit okay for me because I have big hands slightly, but I mean. I'm just telling you so this, you, you know, that part. You can't play your Switch games on the TV. For the light. Oh, okay. I guess I won't be getting that then. But if you are going to get the new, the regular Switch, make sure it has it's the red, it has a red background because that it's it's that means it's a newer model, and it'll have more battery life than the original models. Yeah, because if I'm gonna buy a Switch, I wanna play Smash Ultimate on my TV. For a bigger screen. Mm -hmm. Oh, plus it's just neat. Uh, I bring mine to school now because um, apparently my third period is Monday through um, Monday and Wednesday, and I barely and I don't have and I don't really have anything to do, so I just bring my to switch. I mean, just my switch to school. I'm not sure if you're gonna do that to yours, but I mean, you know. I mean, uh, last year in college, last semester. Well, last semester in college, some guys brought in this switch in there, but I'll probably bring it on campus and just see. Of course, you gotta make sure you also have an accessory that's protected. Sure. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna announce your... I'm gonna announce you on the T-Joe Instagram. Oh, okay. Wait, are you gonna use... What are you, wait, are you gonna use your picture? <laughs> I'm gonna the log your hair and then the thing you posted. Oh, do you want me to? Yeah, I can send. I can send. I can send you the picture right now if you want. If you're gonna post it. I I, I got the picture. I just cropped oh. it. Oh. Story. No, I got the original picture. You don't have to crop it. But I mean, or is it too late? Oh, okay. I mean, you can send it to me. Uh, here I'll send it to you on DMs. It it took me like a couple of seconds to make that. <laughs> like, but like, I'm, I'm still, I'm like, right now my, my current place for making thumbnails is basically a Google Drive, and of course you already know this because you use it as well, and I, it is similar factor, but like, it's pretty much like, I don't have, like, Photoshop, Adobe is always broke asses because they, they always want money, for sure. They do, that is true, Adobe does want money. Yeah. Um, where else do we go? Oh yeah, we gotta go back to the area. We're almost Adobe done with this exists and Money exists and Adobe's like, okay, I'm gonna eat that here for a second. Huh, I'm about to head out. <laughs> Oof. Um, how many minutes are we at? Um, yeah, we got, we got time. We got time. We could do it. How long? How long we're at, we're, we're in the, for? we're in the 40 minute mark. Oh my goodness. But we're gonna squeeze it all in there. 
because we're gamers. We're going to s to town oh, square. Oh, we're gonna say. I like to keep my videos a bit. I like some people on the TJ like to do longer videos. Some like to do shorter. It's up to taste. Well, I was originally gonna make it a stream, but at the same time, like I have to like you know the stream. I have to get up the stream key because I use Reamstream IO and all that. So. Okay. I was I if, but keep in mind if you're watching if you were like watch I usually like to stream first the game if I were to be new, and then do the recording series then. But there might I might do an, I mean I like I'm probably gonna do like a recording session like a long recording session so like Tama you might who knows but you might be in part two if you want to. But I mean. Let's see if the scheduling. Yeah. Do you want me to say what your LP is, or just say his sure. LP? Sure. Sure. Is my do you know my scheduling is gonna be every Wednesday though? Yeah. Oh, okay. Then do that, and then I'll I'll a and then I'll advertise it on my story. Nice. Um, I'm gonna probably make a channel direct, but if I do, it's probably gonna be up. But um, yeah. Oh my God, it's a bully! Oh my you God! Have pretty, you have a pretty big um audience on Instagram. I have an audience, but at the same time I do not. At one point I was almost near 1k. Like, not so long ago. So my audience is okay, but it's not fully dedicated. How much are you at now? Um, probably 6 or 700. Oh, that's still a lot. In a way. I do try to like advertise my YouTube channel, but it doesn't really do much. Yeah, it's funny. It's actually really funny. So back in high school, mm -hmm. when I did YouTube, um, people would like tease me. People would like, they wouldn't mock me, but they would talk about it. And I didn't want people to, to talk about it. But now that I want people to know about my channel, no one talks about it. To be honest, Tim, man, fuck the haters. Because you, well, that was back you could do, well, I know that that was back then, now. yeah. But like, I, it's best not to let the haters like, get into your ass. That is facts of truth. People can be stupid. Or as we say, true facts. True facts 101. Featuring Iron Smasher 1024. True facts first one. Yeah. Hey guys, Teju22 here, and welcome back to another episode of Teju Talks. I'm your host, Teju22. Teju is a good host, though. Never miss an episode of Teju22. Otherwise, I'll delete your Fortnite account. Oh yeah, speaking of that, how was Fortnite? Well, for you specifically. I mean, good. I played here and there. The other day, I got a match with 11 kills. Okay. Uh, I don't play the game a ton, but when I do, it's fun. Oh shit! A bitch! Oh. Gotcha. I'm glad you. I was able to get you in the game. Because I really did want you to get the Millennium Falcon. And at the same time, I gave a bit to the lightsabers. The only downside is that we haven't encountered lightsabers yet. Um, we I made a video... Um, if you don't know, basically on my channel, we're recording Fortnite. It will be up on February, so you guys can see it eventually. But basically, we were playing Fortnite, and we low-key couldn't find lightsabers. And we were lights... Yeah, and like... I got pissed off because like lightsabers, like it was the last day of lightsabers and all that shit. All right, guys. Uh, we got one more dragon. He's not too far. We gotta get up there, and we gotta go back to that area we found where we killed that baby bandit. And look at all those chickens burnt to crisp by a KFC man, <laughs> Con Colonel Sanders. Nice. 
finger licking good. Pause. Ow. I keep hitting the head. <laughs> oh, I like this level with the sunset. Finger licking good. Oh, yeah, we gotta go I have the, right there. I have the hardest time finding one of the secrets up here. It can be hard, because, like, you know, it's random most of the time. We. Here, I, have, I have to get going soon. Oh, okay. So, may have to just level. Plus, we've been going for a while. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, I think this is gonna be like the last one, and then I'll probably end it off. We're almost done that part. Yeah, this will be the last one. Thank you for releasing me, Spyro. You can always track your progress by accessing the guidebook in the cause menu. Yes, we're going to die. You can access the cinnamon chicks. Oh my god. <laughs> well, wow. Um, now we're gonna f now we're gonna have to find um a secret chest, but um. We're gonna end it off in this episode. Um, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed my first L my first episode of this new LP. Um, be sure to check uh, so check out and, and uh, Gaming Odyssey. We got a lot of uh, content in the channel. And of course, if you want, you can check out our individual channels, which is linked in the description. Um, and yeah, until then, this is your boy Iron Smasher 1024 with. Hey guys, uh, this has been Intamin, everyone. Um, I don't know how much I'll. Yeah, I might pop in on here, here, and there, but check out, like I said, everyone else and, um, everyone's content as well, and then, you know, I mean, it's good to have you on the TGO, and uh, best of luck with this LP. Yeah. And until then, this is your boy, well, we were said our outro as well. Anyways, guys, uh, we'll see you next episode. Peace.